I'd like to introduce my fourth book to you and it follows hard on the heels of painting watercolours on canvas, painting animals in watercolour and line and wash painting. And book flips of these are available if you haven't seen them. So painting birds in watercolour is all about capturing the colour of birds without painting every single feather. And I've dedicated this book to Emily Williamson, who founded the RSPB and prevented all sorts of species becoming extinct through her work. She was an amazing woman. Now we get into the introduction, which I take you through a bit of my sort of philosophy and why I think birds are such fantastic subjects. In the Supplies Materials chapter I've tried to really tailor it to the things that will help you paint birds rather than making it too general and throughout there are little tips and there are practical exercises wherever possible so it is a really practical guide that's meant to get splashed with paint um, and thumbed <laughs> definitely. In the next chapter if you're a beginner I do take you through the basic techniques but if you're more advanced or more experienced then there's plenty for you too in terms of concentrating on edges and really controlling the water. So this chapter is all about features whether it's shape, beak, feet, wings and we spend time looking at eyes and the different types of eyes you might encounter when you're painting birds. Of course composition and planning are crucial to making a successful painting so in this chapter I give you ideas about different compositions, when they might be appropriate, the rule of thirds, I show you some practical um, examples and we look at backgrounds and the types of backgrounds that might be suitable. But of course birds are so gorgeous because of their colour of their plumage so I take you through a bit of colour theory and how to apply it and um, we look at negative painting and again there are some step by steps here both in pen and wash in pure watercolour and so forth. And then of course behaviour whether it's singing or fighting or um, courtship or whatever it is we want to capture the real character of the birds and this is where the, those gorgeous guinea fowl come in but you know what's important about birds they can fly so there's lots of tips on capturing motion and the feeling of flying and in this chapter I've got um, oh, a gorgeous eagle on canvas and a beautiful kestrel on paper. So I'm trying to vary the surface as well. And then special challenges, we look at nests, we look at eggs, we look at flocks and large groups of birds and how we might approach those. And I take you through a different technique, which is gouache resist. Then there are useful resources as you would expect, an index, and that's it. The book is published by the Crowwood Press. It costs £12.99 in the UK and is available from July 2022.